My name is Christopher Harrison. I'm an analytical chemistry professor here at San Diego State University. I think those that use the lecture capture really appreciate being able to have me right there in their laptop to be able to see what I've said and get it very clearly. Given how much material we cover in the course that students may be taking notes and miss out on what I said, so that's another chance for them to see it over. equation that we're going to deal with is H2SO4. So I think that being able to get back into the lecture and see it in effectively real time or what it was gets them to remember things. They have the chance to review material exactly how I said it as much as they want so they never really fall behind in the course material as long as they're willing to go back, re-watch a video, and see what it was that they may have missed that day. I think those that use the lecture capture really appreciate being able to have me right there in their laptop to be able to see what I've said and get it very clearly. I watch the videos whenever I'm studying. If I can't understand something in class, I go back and watch them. Dr. Harrison is very uh, detailed in his lectures, so it's hard to keep up in class, so I try to pay attention in class. Go back in the video and just watch. I usually watch them on my laptop, even though um, it does give the option to watch them on my phone. But if I'm looking for a certain aspect of the lecture that I missed in class that I didn't quite understand, I'll just go to that snippet and watch that to see, to clarify. I think the swivel videos are extremely helpful for me, especially, because I have several health problems. When I'm not able to go to lecture, obviously I would watch it uh, all the way through, and then I usually watch it a second time, just to make sure that I got everything. The product I use is called Swivel. It's a combination of a base station and an iPhone app or Android app that allows you to very passively record your lecture and then put it online for the students to watch. And the students can see exactly what I want them to see, just as I would in a lecture hall. Given how much material we cover in the course that students may be taking notes and miss out on what I said, so that's another chance for them to see it over. I certainly want to provide as many tools and options to my students to learn the material as possible. So lecture capture and flipped classrooms I find are the way to offer that flexibility to the students to learn at a pace that is suitable to their learning styles. If you would like to find out more about lecture capture, visit our website at its.sdsu.edu.